Well, I finally have my new iPad Pro with me. Check it out. And I'm gonna try and make my first drawing using Procreate. I tested it yesterday. It seems pretty simple and straightforward. And I'm thinking, yeah, I think I'm good to go. I'm gonna try and draw this sharp sketch from this morning. And well, I think it's simple enough that I'm not gonna mess it up too bad. And hopefully this process video works. <laughs> Um, so let's get started. Drawing in Procreate was super fun for me, really natural, drawing directly on the screen is obviously amazing and I really enjoy it. I think it's very similar to Photoshop, so after a few minutes I kind of got the hang of it. You know, as a heavy Photoshop user, I'm feeling pretty comfortable switching to uh, Procreate for this one. And the only difference is that you don't have all the windows open at the sides of the artboards. No. So anytime you want to switch your brush or if you want to uh, move to a new layer, you need to open that window again. And this takes more time. It's another click that you need to do. Um, so I felt like I'm a bit slower, you know, working on Procreate rather than my regular process on Photoshop. But I guess I also need to get used to it. So. I'll probably get faster and there's probably a solution for that if I'm, I just don't know yet so uh, I'm gonna check it out but uh, other than you know the work process other than the fact that it's slower everything else feels really really natural and fun and I really had a good time well obviously I don't feel the same amount of control I feel using Photoshop yet things are kind of different and I still need to get used to it so I'm, I don't feel like I'm in 100% control um, but I'm pretty sure this will get better and better as I use it more and more and, and I think it's an amazing tool and the fact that you can just travel and take it with you anywhere is, is super amazing. Yeah so I'm sure I'm gonna use it a lot in the future and make a lot of new process videos using Procreate as well and I really think you should try it out it's pretty cool. Anyway I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the process video and catch you back soon.
Okay, and this is the final illustration and well, the process went on pretty nicely so I'm happy it didn't make any mistakes on the way. Uh, we had a little giveaway, a poster giveaway last week so I need to announce the winners so congrats you guys, you win this nice little poster and I'll send it to your home so uh, congrats and email me your address, your home address so I can uh, send it over. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and I just want to say thanks again for all the comments and the support for the videos on the channel. Uh, this really means a lot. And I'm going to try and answer some of your questions in the next videos. And definitely talk about, you know, tell you about my background and how I develop my style as an illustrator and what the hell is Astro Tiger Design Studio, <laughs> which is something that I didn't mention yet. So yeah, I should talk about that as well. Um, oh, I thought it would be interesting if you guys would send me some illustrations that you made and you're not too happy about. And I think it would, it would be interesting to kind of try and develop them and kind of make them better in a way and maybe record the process of it so if you want help with your illustrations uh, send me a, an email as well my email is written in the video details and you know if you have any questions or anything else you want to know just comment on this video and I'll try to get back to you and this is it for today thanks so much see you next time bye